Hey guys, welcome to another video. So it has been a while. If you've noticed, I've kind of dropped down to once a month, but I'm gonna to try to bring you some great videos. I didn't plan on dropping down once a month, just I've been really busy at the office. So you can see here, uh, let me raise the camera just a little bit. There we are. I got the G2. And there's a reason that I decided to just get up and go get the G2. I already have a Galaxy Note 3, and that's about as best I can explain it, if anything else. After checking out the Samsung Galaxy S5, wasn't impressed. Um, it's just not enough to sell me on, on getting it at this very moment. But I am impressed with the G2. I've always been impressed, but again, I have so many devices so I had to go through and see, should I get this, should I not? End result is, got it. This is rocking a uh, 2.3 gigahertz uh, dual core, it says measure speed is 2.6, excuse me, dual core, quad core, wow, it's been a while, guys, oh my god. Two gigs of RAM, uh, 32 gigs of memory it should be in here. Um, it's got the optical image st stabilization, full HD, 1080p display, 13 megapixels on the back. Should be a two on the front, something like that. Uh, but let's get into this, man, because I've been waiting all day. This is kind of a bonus video. <laughs> Wasn't planning on getting this right here, but I had some other things going on. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this now while it's on sale. If you didn't know, this is on sale for $4.99. You might say, on sale? $4.99? <laughs> well, it's normally $600. Bucks. So getting it for $4.99, they have it for $100 off right now. So this is the unboxing. Let's uh, get it fired up here. And you've seen this before, but um, I've never had this device before. And I'm pretty excited about it. I like how they did the box. Let's get my SIM card. You don't need that. And you need to see all these labels. It's got a SIM ejector tool too. Cool little G there. And uh, the usual charging brick and uh, power cable and some manuals. So sliding all that aside, wow looking box. Display is 5.2. This is actually pretty much the same size as the um, Galaxy S4, which is pretty amazing. This is almost bezel free. Uh, if you can ever get that much. But um, I think I'll enjoy this. This is something different. There's no power buttons on the side or anything or nothing on the top, just microphone and and it uh, looks like our blaster up there. Both of these are not speakers from what I'm told, but it does have the Dolby surround. It's got the uh, headphone jack on the bottom. Thank goodness. I love that because of my iPhone 5S. I've gotten used to that. There's a uh, speaker and microphone in there, USB charging port. On the back is that beautiful 13 megapixel camera with a single LED flash. It's supposed to be really good. You've got your volume up, which launches a notes um, application, and the volume down launches the camera when the screen is locked. And in the middle there, you got the power button. On this side here, you've got, sorry if I hit the camera, you've got your SIM card slot uh, tray right there. And um, let's take these stickers off, and I will do a boot up. It's the least I can do for you guys. So I haven't done any unboxings in a long time. Love that sound. Let's get the uh, SIM tray. Let's see if I got something here. Second. Okay, SIM tray's out. There's a the device. A micro SIM. Also, the Galaxy S5 has a nano SIM, which is fine, but you know, I just prefer to do something new this time around. Sim trays on the on the left here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the first boot. Hitting that power key on the back. And there it is. Let's see if it'll stay. No, it won't stay. There you go. First boot, LG G2. Um, really looking forward to getting into it with this device. 3000 milliamp battery if I didn't say that. Wow, that was a fast boot. <laughs> it said life is good anyway been a long time it's, it's grabbing signal already there and there we are full 4g lte with this device in my house so this is pretty good battery looks to be already full so let's get into this um let me go through this menu real quick and i'll be right back to you all right so i'm in and it is uh kind of rolling through the setup and things like that um Snappy, snappy, snappy. I play with it. It's doing a little bit of restore, so it's a little stuttery. That's why, but uh, looks like it's not. 
a lot of apps on here. Uh, one second, I think somebody's coming up to my door. Hold on. All right, so anyway, someone was at my door. So um, these home buttons at the bottom down here, I think it's really cool. During the setup, it lets you change them. Like I can have the menu over here or the back over here. Pretty cool. But uh, nonetheless, this is a snappy, snappy device. I uh, played with it at the store several times. Didn't think much of it, you know, I thought, well, you know, let me go with my norm. But after seeing the S5's announcement today, I was really, wasn't disappointed, but just wasn't wowed. So, looks like it's the Galaxy Note 3 for me for now, for, for a while. No S5 for me at this point, unless I get my hands on it and I just absolutely love it. But um, the small form factor of this is really lightweight, compact, feels fantastic. Um, I don't know how I could go wrong by, by uh, passing on this as long as I have. But it looks like, uh, just looking in here, you get Polar Office Viewer, looks like. I've got a full version of that, though. I can install File Manager, Dictionary, Task Manager, Video Editor, Update Center, a lot of T-Mobile stuff. I wish they didn't do that. That's one thing I like about Windows Phone and iPhone. You just snatch it right off without any kind of special tools for rooting or anything like that. Quick Remote. And there's a setup to take you back. There's a notebook. Uh, they got LG Backup, LG Square, ISIS. So this looks to be pretty much uh, a pretty solid device. And it has a lot of stuff on it there. Let's see here. Let's clear these. I don't want to see all that. So here's those quick uh, settings here where you can have little pop-ups just like the Galaxy line. A little one will pop up there and you can move it around and it's really cool. So that's a quick look. Damn, I've been off camera. Sorry, guys. That's a quick look at the um, LG G2. Uh, a buddy of mine at T-Mobile has this and he said, man, you got to get this. Before I do that, I want to get into the system settings real quick and go to about... And da, 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 software and it should be running 4.2.2. Is it gonna focus? Yeah. And there it is. So um, how about memory? This should have 32 uh, in here. I thought it had 16. I didn't didn't do much on here, but of that 32, you get 24 gigs available. And for me, that's more than enough. This doesn't have an SD card slot. So I'll cover a lot more things in my full review, but as right now, wow, I'm really digging it. I can turn it off just like that. And pop it back on. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. It's your boy, Jay Will. Sorry if I've been off camera most of the video. I'm kind of tired, uh, but I will see you in the next video, guys. I appreciate your support. See you next time. Special unboxing coming for the month of March. I think you'll be happy with that. Take care.